I was very clear from the beginning that I'm not committing an offence. I reiterated that a number of times to the police officers. What I said to them was um, quite simple. I said, um, I'm very familiar with the process of Schedule 7, like many, many people. I think on average around 30 to 50,000 people are stopped under Schedule 7 powers. So I'm not unique in that sense, and a lot of people are affected. In my case, I've been stopped 20 times, um, or probably more. So I said to the police officers that I'm I'm going to be very compliant. Um, I understand you've got a job to do. I understand the powers that you have. Um, but I can't hand over the passwords to you simply because the information that I may be in possession of is, doesn't just belong to me. It belongs to or is about other people, vulnerable people who've sought uh, assistance um, in their efforts to either complain or get access to due process or seek legal assistance, I can't just give you the password without their consent. So that was my basic um, point to them. And, and therefore, I don't think I broke the law. And I reiterated to them that, you know, I'm not deliberately being obstructive. I'm trying to find a way, I'm trying to reason with you in order to um, come to a, a um, reasonable solution. Um, I also reminded them that on previous occasions when I've been stopped like this, I've spoken to the police officers and they've been very reasonable. They've exercised discretion and they've not um, demanded that I disclose my passwords. They've in fact given my devices back. So on this occasion, sadly, the officers who were dealing with me decided to escalate the matter and they decided to um, arrest me um, under uh, Schedule 7 powers.